Hola, como estas? Muy bien. Welcome to a new video, guys. We have uh, another F1 2020 career video. We're going to the to the French Grand Prix, which is going to be really frustrating. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be easy. We're going to probably suck most of the time. But let's catch up on everything that's going on with the facilities, R&D, and everything else. Look at look at my guys. I look at team at Marduk also as my engineer builder. Nice to see him in there. Uh, and we will see what we do. So... Facilities, 8.36 million, but I am saving the money because in about, let's see, 16 days, uh, Albon will have to be re-signed at 8 million. So I just got to save some of the money so I could, I'll be able to re-sign him. So we can't really do anything in the facilities as of now. There is nothing going on. It's just, God, we're just kind of sitting there. R&D, we have two powertrain upgrades coming in, the fuel flow regulator and the bearings. Uh, if you go look at the progress, it is going to be the power, the, the fuel flow regulator is the major uh, upgrade and then minor ERS the bearings uh, both coming in in time for the French Grand Prix but I don't really think it's going to make much of a difference to the French Grand Prix we're still most likely going to struggle there um, this is just what I use for practice so you know for practice sessions I use the older um, power unit stuff and then before qualifying I switch it over to to the new stuff so we have a fresh engine there uh, also helps the reliability that way um what else oh by the way guys uh the new uh little season pass thing came out today so we have some new uh liveries that are available um i have to actually play the game a little bit to unlock them because some of them you know we have the end we races one and racism uh this digital i think it's just too crazy for me to use i really like tech flow tech flow looks really nice uh so th this might be something and to get to the podium past 30 so it might be something like maybe next season or later on um, but, and I also like shards, shards, obviously, we, you know, mix in our color a little bit, that darker pink, uh, change the blue to either a white or a black, add some yellow in there, you know, something we could do here. So, uh, there, there's a lot of, uh, new liveries that we can use and, uh, wireframe looks pretty cool as well. So we'll, uh, we'll look at all these things, uh, as the time comes. Standings real quick, in case you didn't see the last episode, we are 5th in the driver standings with 81 points, 4th in the constructor standings with 84, most likely going to drop a little bit, I expect Ocon and Vettel to pass us, so I expect to go down to 7th after the French Grand Prix, but hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to find some pace there. R&D true, we have 494 resource points, that is about to go up, we are about to get our weekly resources, which is around 480 resource points, so we're going to near 1,000, uh, but we're going to save some of it as we go into the R&D. D. You can see we have uh, on the two powertrain upgrades, which are hopefully coming in. Hopefully they don't fail. If they do fail, we have enough resource points to get them right back going in time for the next Grand Prix, which I think is Austria. And then we have uh, the a major uh, chassis upgrade with tire wear coming in as well. After that, I will probably go over to the uh, Arrow uh, again. Uh, you can see Renault has now passed as they've headed into P2. It's always changing. As soon as you kind of let something go, you know, you get passed. And Renault is our main competitor right now. Um, they are, are doing really well. As you see, Ferrari is really struggling. Uh, and that is why they're slowing down because they're just not keeping up with their Aero department. So uh, I'm looking at probably the minor drag reduction uh, for the air upgrades. I, I don't. I want to save a little bit because you do know maybe uh, regulations are coming in later this season. I don't want to go too hard on aero and chassis just in case um, we get absolutely screwed by the rule regulations. That, that's what happened last year. So at a certain point of the season, which is it's coming in about three races from now, you're going to see me stop spending resource points, and I'm just going to wait to see what happens with the fuel regulation, or the, the not the fuel regulation, the rule, rule regulations. That way I'll have resource points available in case we need to adapt certain parts. Um, so I might just hold off on the halo and the front wing turning vanes and just wait and see what happens there, which means I'll probably start working on if we do work on aero stuff it'll be the minor drag reduction it'll be the two drs uh areas and uh, we'll just keep going down here i'm really hoping that it doesn't affect our powertrain that's that that'll make me cry if it does because i put a lot of effort into here and we don't want that to mess up so let's advance time uh activities by the way we're just having a few sponsor advertisement uh stuff that's really it so nothing going on there let's move and see what happens are we going to get our weekly resources in and fuel for regulator good bearings are good so both have come in and uh, they are beautifully integrated into the car so now uh look at that finally the vehicle performance comparison red bull has dropped uh it is now mercedes renault ferrari hendrick f1 red bull mclaren racing point alfatari alfa romeo haas and williams uh, let's go to the r d and let's look at our performance in the powertrain department 
and we're creeping up there. We're part of the top four teams here, Mercedes, Renault, and Ferrari right in front of us. So I like where we are heading in this way. Uh, that That's looking looking nice if we get that intercooler going, but uh, we will see what we do there. So 974 resource points. Um, hmm, let's, let's hold off because it's not a big difference. And let's say like it's a day delay. Uh, if I could just complete the practice sessions and then use those resource points, it's, it's a day or two delay based on like when things come in. So I'm going to complete all the practice sessions and we will come back with around probably 1700 resource points, maybe a little bit less. I don't know, somewhere around there. And, uh, we will look into RD and see what we should do next. So this is going to be tough. I'm going to do the practice sessions. We'll head into qualifying. Hopefully, or actually, we're not going to qualify well, probably. I mean, I'm expecting that. And then the race is going to be difficult. But, you know, Sector 3 is what I'm really worried about. We'll try our best. All right, guys, we have completed qualifying before we head to the French Grand Prix. It's going to be a difficult race. Uh, we are expecting that. R&D. Um, we have 313 points because we have just spent some points. So you can see here, uh, chassis, tire wear, that is still in development for Thursday, 2nd July, that's not new. Uh, but the aero, drag reduction, barge boards, and the chassis weight re redistribution, which is the plank, both minor upgrades, both costing around 800 resource points each, which gets us up to around 1,600 total, uh, are coming in. And uh, if we go look in the performance section of the area, the reason why I'm going with uh, these two upgrades is one, I want you know get some little DRS, you know, get the DRS going a little bit. You take advantage of that, um, as well as uh, just I want to see what these question marks are. You know, uh, even though we need facility spec required number three, so technically we're not gonna be able to go much further than that uh, and invest the money in the facilities. But uh, we still have to invest that money uh, in our driver that is coming up. So uh, let's go straight to the race, not waste any time. You guys will see the starting order uh, on the um, on the grid. It's you guys should know it's not very good for us, but we'll try our best. Welcome along then to France, host of the world famous Tour de France. But we're not talking two wheels today, we're talking four in a country widely thought of as giving birth to the art of motor racing back in the late 1800s. We've come a long way since then, and you're about to find out how far. It's time for the French Grand Prix. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, six left and nine right for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Nord. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive colored stripes, which are low in grip and highly abrasive. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and it's Esteban Ocon in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Bottas, Ricardo, Lewis Hamilton and Perez, Albon, Stroll, Norris and Pierre Gasly, Vettel, Grosjean, Daniel Kvyat and Verstappen, Sainz, Oldtimer, Mick Schumacher and Nick de Vries. Magnussen, Russell, Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So yeah, you saw our teammate um, up in the top 10, and we are all the way down in 16th. It's going to be a struggle, guys. We always struggle at this track. Going to try out to pull off the uh, one-stop strategy and just go from there. Um, there just isn't much I, I think I'm going to be able to do. I'll try my best. Let's go. I did not make contact with Verstappen at all at any point, so I don't really know what that was for. But we're just trying to be careful here. Oh boy. Try to get the outside. Nope. Oh, someone to our inside. Not the best of starts. There was just nowhere to go that whole time. Uh, let's go into Rich. Protect. Come on. Come on. All right, protected, and these two are still side by side. This is not helping. All right, can you guys go, please? All right, we're going to use up everything we got here. Get to the inside. All right, two and one. Let's go. Oh, what's Albon doing in 10? Oh, 
not what I wanted to see, guys. I was hoping with his good qualifying run he could uh, stay up there a little bit, but it looks like he's not able to. I'm pleasantly surprised I'm able to actually keep up with, with Alex here. The whole goal is to actually just stay with them, because remember, we're on the medium tires, so just stay with them as long as we can uh, and take advantage later on in the race, save the tires, because we know that we have to push this thing a little bit, so everything's going uh, actually better than planned. I didn't think I'd be even close to the points. That's how much I feel like I suck at this track, so we're doing pretty well. And it took till the third lap to get me to lose the DRS, and that is what happened. Can we talk about how Vettel is in 12th? Struggled in qualifying, struggling in the race while Leclerc qualified on pole, I'm pretty sure, so don't know what's going on with him. Uh, but, oh my god, I'm so bad at this track. Oh my lord. I just hate this the, the, this layout. I love France. Trust me, I love France as a country. But this layout is just horrible. It is so pathetically bad. And uh, you can see now we've really lost the plot here. 2.6 seconds behind our teammate. And it's going to get a lot, lot worse throughout the rest of this race. Vettel. I'm not going to really be able to do anything for much longer, but I'll hold off for a little bit. People are in the pits. I'm still trying to hold off Vettel. Alexander is in the pits. <sighs> this is stressful, guys. This is. I thought I was done with this. Uh, almost done with this, but nope. Still got to hold off, guys, while we're way slower. And we are one of the slowest cars in the field right now. There's just nothing I can do. I can't... The tracks where the change of direction is so quick, even at high speeds, I just can't do it. My car just won't do it. And, uh, I mean, look at this. I have no grip. I'm trying everything I can. And then these corners where it's like you have to ease into the throttle, a little sweeping, exit. All, I mean, Bahrain's a good example of how I suck there. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, man. Luckily, luckily, our power unit's pretty good. So... I usually always have just enough to uh, hold off, which we do there again, but then, I mean, I, I feel like, what do I feel like? I feel like when Haas first came in to F1, and they had a really good power unit, but their chassis sucked, that's basically what I feel like at this track. News is, we are about to be in the lead, and there we go. Uh, so we are the first car on the one-stop strategy, basically. Um, with the mediums, and that puts us in the lead, which is beautiful. We do have to hold on to it. I literally cannot let anyone pass. And luckily, we have Grosjean behind us. Vettel is struggling, just like real life. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're chilling, so... I think I should be able to keep him behind me. I have plenty of uh, fuel mix. Plenty of overtake when I need it. I just gotta make sure I don't mess up this right-hander. You can see we extend the gap a little bit. Have my overtake. Go in a rich. Even DRS, our power unit is now one of the best in, in the series right now, so um, we're pretty good for now. So watch Grosjean, boom, I could drive him pretty aggressively there, use the curbs as much as I want, get back on it, and we should be fine here. Take a nice little peek at Grosjean, and yeah, we're fine. Alright, so once we get into the third sector, we're pretty much all good. Can we look at the fact that Romain Grosjean and Kvyat are out running Verstappen on sheer pace? That's just sad. I mean, that's... I need to get Verstappen out of Red Bull, man. I need I need to save that boy. Oh, my God. Never mind. All right, that power unit's pretty good. I'm going to try to fight back. Get out of here. Squeezed out. Let's go. All right, I don't think I could be able to hold this one off. I'll try. Nope, I have to wait. Hopefully I get DRS here. Can I get DRS? I don't even know because I haven't been passed yet. Uh, no, I do not get it. Does this Kvyat still get it? No, uh, there is no DRS. Oh, never mind. Okay. So Kvyat takes over the lead. And, uh, I mean, I tried, but those Alphataris got a, a little bit... I mean, they have also DRS, so that, that helps them a lot. But they're pretty good down the straight. I can't fault that. All right, it's time. Books, books. Books, books, books. This lap. Books, books, books. And there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. I beat you to it. All right. So I think overall we've done pretty well. Um, we're not holding up like the entire field. You can see there's a gap behind us. There's the Renault, then there's... That's it. So um, 
obviously we're not as slow as Williams or Haas anymore. <laughs> I know I know we're bad, but not that bad. And there goes Grosjean. And this time I can't fight back. Ooh, that dirty air. Oh my lord. I'm gonna keep trying, but I'm running out of my resources. Vettel, please stay back there. Alright, he's gonna stay back there. Books, 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 books. Wow. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. I've really been overtaken on pit road because my pit crew was too slow. That makes me sad. That makes me really sad. That's never happened. That has never happened in this in this uh, career mode yet. I was expecting it to happen earlier, to be honest, but it has not happened. And it happens at a race where I really need all the help I can get, and uh, we did not get it. And it, it's. It's gonna look like a real struggle from here on out. Man, I hate this track. Oh my, it's so annoying to drive. It's such, it's not even fun to drive. It's so stupid. I hate this stupid layout. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, so here, here's the here's the race situation. Um, Perez, um, Gasly, Hamilton are behind us. And uh, they're on the two-stop. They've already completed their two-stop, so now they're coming with a fr uh, fresh set of medium tires. And I just, guys, mentally, I don't think I can hold them off speed-wise. I don't think I, I'm, I'm just frustrated, man. This track, a, a lot of F1 fans hate this track. And and for a right re, you've got to be kidding me. My point proven. My point, I just, I hate this track so much. Oh my god, there goes three more spots. Literally what I was just saying of holding those guys off is now is now gone. And we're back with Shumi. Can you see me boiling in anger right now? Because I definitely am. I don't think we even have a shot at the points anymore. I'm trying to do the math of like who's on the one stop, two stop. Where are we in terms of like when everyone pits? I don't really know where we are. Uh, I know Hamilton, Perez, Gasly, Verstappen, Vettel, Grosjean, Kvyat. Um, but I don't know who else. Leclerc. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Now, now we're having a uh, we're having a meltdown now. And now we're in last. I don't care. What what the heck is going? Let me guess. My tires are just destroyed. Yep, that's what happened. Oh my lord! Can I get a safety car somehow? Can I just park this thing in the middle of the track and get a safety car? That's a nice temperature on my tires. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, this thing—they <laughs> are like they're like they feel like basketballs right now. I need I need the temperatures to come down. Oh man, when I say I hate this track, guys, I really hate this track. I despise it with all my heart. It is I wish to never see this track on the F1 circuit again. And this race is completely just Let's use overtake and burn some of this energy. Honestly, I don't want to I want to save my This is one of those races where I wish I could just pull into the garage and retire, but I don't think I can do that. I'm going to look No, I'm not talking. Hold on, wait. No, oh, I don't want to box this left. Lap. Can I switch the menu screens, please? Oh my god. Repeat that. There's interference. Oh my. No, I'm not talking to you. Shut up, please. No, you can't do it. Couldn't There's not an option where you can just pull into the garage and, and retire the car. I mean, I could just retire from the current session that way, but does, does that save my my engine components? Does that save me the 10 laps, or does it like automatically tack on the end of the race? Like, what happens? Because there really is no reason to finish this race now. There's just no point. Not finishing the points, I just don't want to wear out the components. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to retire from the session. And, alright, that does do it, I guess. Right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. So, do we get DNF or something? Okay, clear. Uh, I guess so. I'm hoping I just didn't put more, you know, I saved the strap. What? Comes to an end. 
You tell me this team won the French Grand Prix. Are we serious? A French team winning the French Grand Prix. Who won? What? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when All they right. found them as losing theirs. And that's a oh, to make matters even worse. Oh, I hate Renault. Once again, it's podium time, and once again, it's oh my god, they got Renault. two. Oh my Renault god, what? Their fair share of success in Formula One. What the? Proof that they've still got what it takes to thrill us what all. the? What? They got a one-two at their home. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Y'all, y'all, y'all are smoking some good stuff. There's no way you guys got a one-two at your home track. And now let's take a look oh at the my stand. lord. <laughs> this is confusing me. How did I gain spots in the constructor standings? If we scored no points this race, what? 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 <laughs> How did I move up? I am so lost. I just don't know where that came from. Um, did Red Red Bull scored points this race? What? Did they? I don't even know. Did they? Yeah, they did. Uh, okay, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. But we get a DNF. Albon doesn't get points either. It's just, it's a bad day all around. Renault one two. That makes it even worse because Renault is one of our I mean, I want to say main rivals. They're a little bit too far ahead, but they're faster than Ferrari now uh, with both their drivers ahead of them. Also second in the constructor standings now. It's just, it's a sad day. It's a sad, sad day. All right, let's just, let's just get back to the facilities. Forget this race ever happened. It is a, um, a depressing, depressing race. Thankfully, there's really no time to waste before we head to the Austrian Grand Prix. Uh, you can see it's literally the weekend right after recommend spend some of the cash we're accumulating yes i know that but i need to resign my driver which is coming up in approximately let's look at it seven days so we need to make sure we have at least 8.2 million in um facilities wise now you guys there was one one of you sent me something on instagram and i don't know what it was where it came from though it was do i do i have to upgrade my marketing or something like it improve increase no this slightly increase positive no i mean if i if i increase this area do and what what happens guys if i increase marketing like is it worth it like at all there was something there's one of you guys sent me something and it was like a picture and um I don't know. I felt like it was something you guys were telling me something to do in the facilities, but I, I didn't really. Well, I guess I wasn't really paying attention. But um, I don't really know what to do with the facilities right now because we have to save that money for the driver right now, and you know, just kind of wait around. But I, I don't really know like where to spend it. All this is so expensive. Look, if I wanted to upgrade the Visa, it's twelve million. You know how long it would take me to get $12 million and still, you know, get the $8 million to re-sign our driver or at the end of the season get the $12 million to sign Ricardo over Stappen or something? It's so much money that it's like, whoa. Um, so I'll keep trying, um, I guess. Fabrication, I don't really care about because we're not upgrading quick enough. I really care about the resource point generation. But look, $15 million to increase that to 200 it's just like, it's, it's insane numbers. So... I'm going to hold off on doing anything there again. Um, activities wise, we'll just put some GeForce training for Albon in and uh, advance because we can't really do anything R&D wise either. There is nothing coming in. Uh, so we just head to the Austrian Grand Prix with the, the same the same uh, car, basically. The new parts come through from the fabrication. Ooh, fabrication process. We'll have them with new parts. What new parts? Well, oh, what came in? Oh. Was it the chassis upgrade? What was it? I guess I don't even know what came in. What came in? Was it this? No? Was it... Oh, it was a chassis upgrade, right? I'm pretty sure it was a chassis upgrade. I, I am so lost. I am, I am beyond confused. Uh... Yeah. I don't know what I just upgraded. I'm being straight I'm being honest with you guys. I don't know what I just upgraded. I don't know what completed. I have no idea. Was it the bearings? Was it crankshaft? Okay. I don't know. Guys, I'm lost. I think it's 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 12:30 in the morning. 
I think I'm losing my mind. I sincerely don't know what what I completed. So I think it was a, a chassis upgrade, but I have no idea. Apparently, we're faster than Renault. That definitely did not show the French Grand Prix, but apparently we are in terms of vehicle performance. I don't believe it, but we'll see. This is going to be a good race for us. I love this track, um, and so hopefully this is going to be a good one. We'll see what we could do. Get the resource points in, head back to R&D. And uh, actually, I'm going to probably save the resource points because I just want to look at what's going to happen with the rule regulations. If there's going to be a hint of what that is going to be, um, what that might entail, what I have to change around. So I, at a certain point, I want to stop spending resource points and just wait a few races to make sure that uh, we will have enough resource points to adapt certain parts and then continue building on the car. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I know this one kind of sucks. I knew the French Grand Prix sucks, man. I, I swear. Take care of yourselves. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. And I'm going to bed. Peace out.